walking up to the Moanulua Trail, which is the backside of the Haiku Stairs. So basically it's a legal way to get to the top of the Haiku Stairs, which is supposed to be one of the most amazing views on Oahu. So we're doing it the legal way and not getting fined $5,000, but still getting the views. So we're on the entrance. It seems like the hardest part about this trail is just finding how to get to where you're going. But we found a blog post, it's pretty descriptive. We're gonna to try to follow that and show you guys along the way where we're going. But this hike so far has been amazing. We're not even a mile in, but I feel like I'm on another world. We're in like an Amazon jungle or something. And I'm not unconvinced that Tarzan didn't live in Hawaii because there's these giant, what do you call them? <laughs> giant vines, yes, <laughs> vines, that's what they're called, hanging off of these like 60 foot palm trees. I didn't know that palm trees could be that large. So it's pretty incredible. And this hike so far has just been amazingly beautiful. Look at these vines. Wow, these are so big. Man, now I see why Tarzan loved swinging on vines. These look awesome. They're so big, swingable. Hey guys, so I knew that this was gonna be a long hike. It's like 10 miles total, four hours long, and I wanted to get myself some carbs this morning. So I had a banana for breakfast with some peanut butter and a little mucky um, Asian snack. And so total, that was about 30 grams of carbs, and I only bolused for about 10 of those because I didn't want too much insulin on board, but I wanted to have my blood sugar high before starting. So I started this hike around 180, 200, which is perfect. So now I'm decreasing my basal that I'm starting to drop. I'm at 180 with a diagonal down on my desktop. So, and now. we've been hiking for about... How long? Uh, we've been hiking for like an hour maybe. Well, less yeah, than we, an hour. we've been hiking for about 15 minutes. So <laughs> that is <laughs> that insulin on board is finally starting to hit me just because we're moving and it's hot and we're sweating. So I'm about to drop my basil down to 30% decrease of what it normally is for the next duration. And I'll just take some carbs as we go and figure it out from there. Bring you guys with us. Oh no. Alright, come on you crazy kids. So the blog post that we read said we need to cross 17 of these four-wheel drive crossings that just split through the middle of this big trail. So right now we're at number eight. So we got nine more to go. Make sure you bring insect repellent. Guys. From the wise. View of the broccoli trees. <laughs> just kidding. Just started some elevation about uh, 15 minutes ago. As you can tell, I'm already a little out of breath. It's pretty steep, um, but we've heard it gets even steeper. You got to do some pulling up on ropes and stuff like that. So. As you can see, we're walking on a ridge line right here. Check it out. Not a whole lot down there, except broccoli. I'm a Stairmaster a lot more. So these past two miles have been pretty brutal. 
pretty steep as you can see. Look, I'm, I'm working it hard. I feel like I just sat under a waterfall. But as it gets deep, as you can see, there's some nice ropes there. You can climb up, make it nice and easy for you. It's almost like walking up a ladder. Not quite, it's not like that at all. Okay. Great training for Nepal. Emily the Expeditioner. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but the views make it all worth it. All worth it, that's right. Elevation is the helicopters. How crazy is that? Yeah. We are getting so close. We're above the tree line and it is just absolutely amazing up here now. I mean, nothing to obstruct our view. I mean, look at this. Just, I mean, sweeping views of the valley below us. And then, of course, we got what's up ahead. He's only crushing it. So we got one more ridge to get up right there. And we go up and over. And that last little bump. Nothing but a hill. Am I right? Yeah. Real life diabetes. Eric's blood sugar is 54. Even with a decreased basal and... Feed me like an emperor. Probably 80 grams of carbs. <laughs> These are awesome. Sun's blaring up here. Sometimes the anchors aren't the most legit. Maybe a little sketchy, but they work. <laughs> Luckily, you got it backed up to that Mac Daddy. So it's all good. Guys, I suck. 
You don't suck. She's just trying to help this me train. This guy rocks. She's just trying to help me train. No. Because I'm weak sauce and I need to get stronger. I suck. No. Ready to admit defeat. Hey guys, so it is about three, four o'clock right now. Four o'clock right now. So we did have to turn back just because. No, stop it. We just didn't start late enough, or early enough, I mean. Started too late, and we were afraid that by the time we made it to the top and came back down, it would be dark, and traversing down this craziness in the dark is not safe. But, all is not lost, even in the least bit, because we still had such an amazing experience. I mean, we pushed ourselves, we tried our best, and we got to see amazing views the entire time. So, absolutely no disappointment on our parts. Yeah. So, we're headed down now. We're going to be safe. Going to make it back before dark. Know your limits. Know your limits, exactly. Know your limits. And start early. Oh, wait, this video. So even though we didn't make it to the top of the haiku stairs, we still made it to the top of the fun charts, and that's all that matters, isn't it? We still had a blast, we still had a fun. Still highly recommend this hike, it is awesome. Definitely a workout, but you get some amazing views. Get to the top and tell us how awesome it was. In the comments, you can send us pictures, tell us how great it was. And don't forget to like or comment down below. Subscribe to us and check out our blog, livingleashless.com. Thank you guys for watching. I look up and feel the shifting winds tossing us around again.